what's up all right so a long time no see let me just fix this a lot of things have happened since i last vlogged good things and unfortunately some bad things about four or five weeks ago we were doing mma sparring pretty hard sparring and i hopped in to throw like a sidekick and when I landed, when my foot planted on the mat, I felt a pop in the inside of my knee and immediately I got scared. Like it wasn't a, it wasn't anything painful, but I've experienced similar things before and I knew that, uh, okay, I overextended something and, and I have to rest. I have to, you know, get off the mat and ice it and, and wrap the knee up and I knew it wasn't good, but couple of weeks passed and it felt all right again so two weeks ago I went to spar again and everything felt good you know everything felt all right I felt like the knee wasn't a hundred percent and I told the people I was sparring with so what happened was we were doing hard sparring and at the end of the session like one of the final rounds of the session I threw a kick and I got, uh, I got teep kicked, I got push kicked, and I got pushed back. And when I planted my foot, let me show you. All right, so imagine I'm throwing a kick. I'm standing on one leg, and I get a push kick that pushes me back. And when I step back, and when I plant my leg, it felt like my knee was bending inwards. Like the, the whole thing was collapsing. A knee should bend like, you know, a knee should bend like that. I felt like my knee was bending like that, like collapsing and just blowing out. So I fell to the mat screaming because it was, I'm not gonna say, it was painful, but it wasn't the pain. I got scared shitless. I was so afraid because like the knee is supposed to bend like that. I felt that my knee bent like this, you know what I'm saying? So. I got terrified and you know you don't know what it is it just doesn't feel right and I got in the car um, drove off to the emergency room and it was a Friday evening so I was there until like two or three in the morning and did an x-ray and the doctor basically he was an orthopedic doctor he told me that there wasn't any tears in the ligaments, the ACL was intact, the MCL was intact. It was such a huge relief because that's my worst fear. What happened after that is I went to a physiotherapist to get some rehab exercises because I felt like my knee wasn't stable. I have to work on the stability and the physiotherapist, he tells me that, well, yeah, your, your ACL is completely torn off. It's like a worst case scenario, really and it's a hard injury to get back from. And to be honest with you guys, it's been like my worst, it's my worst nightmare to tear my ACL. It requires uh, surgery and, and the rehab is like eight to 12 months before you can get back to, I don't know, 95%. I have an MRI in, in two weeks and then I'll know for sure what was wrong with my knee, if the ACL is uh, torn off or not. But until then, all I can do is just try to strengthen the stabilizing muscles as much as possible and just try to you know stay in shape and and work out so that is what we're doing today we're going to the gym and i use the term rehab lightly because it's really really heavy and uh, the last time i've done it once i was i was sore for like two days afterwards so we're going to the gym now and I'll give you a glimpse in what I'm doing to strengthen my weak knee but also to strengthen and and you know make sure that my right knee doesn't blow out just trying to get as strong as possible in the stabilizing muscles and I'll take you with me let's go all right guys so I'm at the gym right now uh, warming up warming up my legs on the exercise bike and what we're gonna do today is we're gonna be focusing on core stability and a lot of single leg exercises to get my knee as stable as possible and to practice and basically to work on those stabilizing muscles that support the knee 
and that make sure the knee doesn't buckle. So we want to make those as strong as possible. It doesn't matter if the ACL is ruptured or not, I have to work on my knee stability. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So getting properly warmed up, getting my pulse up. I spent like 10 minutes on the bike since I'm working on my legs. Then we're going to do some glute exercises just to get those firing. Some core exercises to get the core nice and warm. And then we're off to the races. This is a this is a pretty heavy session because you really need to work those muscles and to make them stronger. Obviously, it's a weak point of mine, so let's do it. As I said before, I use the term rehab very lightly because these exercises are heavy. Oh, I'm so sore after this, I might just take a nap, but I'm not done yet. Uh, got a couple more, then I'll finish with some heavy intensity work on a bike just to burn my legs out and do some core work, you know. Gotta, gotta keep the abs showing, even though I'm injured. So, let's keep going. All right, we're back home. Finished with the workout, and uh, as I said, it's a heavy, heavy leg session. I could barely walk up the stairs to get up to my apartment, but but it's really good. It's it's really working the muscles that I've been not neglecting, but I figured they were strong enough. So here's the deal: after I get the MRI, after we get the results, and we can actually see what's wrong with my knee, then we will know to what extent I've injured my knee. So. Up until then, all I can do is just do rehab and try to strengthen my, try to strengthen the muscles that stabilize my knees, and you know, just just try to eat healthy and, and stay in shape. It's a it's a fucking disaster to be honest. But I can take the easy route and just be like, all right, I'm injured. I'm never gonna come back. A lot of people don't. It's uh, it's gonna take. I don't know, eight months of rehab to be able to, you know, post post surgery to be able to to fully train again and, and just give up. That's the easy way out. But I'm not. Uh, how do you say it? I'm not. My brain doesn't work like that. I actually had a I had a bad concussion once that I, I didn't even know if I could ever train again, like go for a run. The doctors told me that I will never spar ever again. The martial arts was like out of the question. Uh, even running was 
was unsure because when you run you you get that you get a small shock to the brain every time you take a step and even that was too much for me like turning my head too quickly was too much of a shock for my brain and it was like that for I don't know nine months eight months even then I made up my mind you know to I'll, I'll get back from this and, and and I did and I fought like five or six times since then and you know thank God I don't have any issues with it today uh, not that I can not, not that I know of but let's say my ACL is ruptured let's say I need to have reconstructive surgery have to rehab eight months and you know take that steep hill and get back to where I where I was before I injured myself. Uh, that's what I'll do because that's the way I am. That's the that's the kind of person I am. You know, uh, I'm not scared. I'm not afraid to struggle. I'm not afraid of uh, bumps in the road. That's all. That's all it is. You know, for some people it might it might sound like oh shit he's not gonna come back from that. But I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever. You know, of course I'm hoping that that the orthopedic doctor was right and that nothing is ruptured. But I don't know, it's just the kind of person I am, that's the way I deal with hardships, that's the way I've always dealt with it, you know, uh, I was never given anything on a silver platter, I'm not afraid of working hard, I'm not afraid of struggling, I'm not afraid of failing, and, uh, you know, resilience, the, the ability to bounce back from something, an injury, a, a loss, or hardships in life, is, it's an art form, and I think I've gotten pretty good at it, so this is, this is nothing. Um, I'm ready for whatever. I'm ready for the worst case scenario. I'm hoping for the best, of course, but but until then, I'm not gonna sit around, you know. I'm trying to get as strong as possible, always work on things, always improve where I can improve, but we'll see. In 10 days, I'll know for sure, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated. No matter how bad you think it is, and no matter how bad it actually is, um, do what you can, and do it as good as you can and just bounce back, because that's what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, and I quit my job. This is my first day off, like from, from my daytime job. I actually quit my job. And uh, I have a big announcement. It's big for me at least, I'm, I'm really happy about it. And uh, I'll let you know in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.